Hey everyone, welcome back to Cycling Secrets. Here's a quick rundown on how to monitor your energy intake and expenditure vital for managing and losing weight as you begin your training season. We'll look at a quick rundown on the basic theory and then a couple of free tools to monitor your energy intake and expenditure. It is true that weight loss is more complicated than just energy in and energy out. There are numerous metabolic processes that have an influence. However, if you are engaged in regular physical exertion like training, then it can be that simple. If you're training, then losing weight is essentially about burning more energy than you consume. Your body will then use its energy stores, its fat, to fuel the shortfall. So how do we monitor this? Here's a couple of easy tools to use. Here's an iPhone that I take riding. For monitoring your intake, we've been using Easy Diet Diary, recommended by sports nutritionalist Alan McCubbin at Next Level Nutrition. This app allows you to easily enter your meals, you can even scan the packaging, and it will calculate the energy intake as well as the fat and protein and other factors. You can set a daily energy goal. Easy to use and free. This one has a database of products in Australia, so look a little further and you'll find an equivalent in your region. For monitoring energy output, you can use Strava. So while you can use a Garmin or other GPS bike computer to plug into Strava, there's a free option as well. Get the Strava app and use your iPhone to log your rides. Upload the rides straight from your phone to your free Strava account and you have a ballpark calorie expenditure for your training rides. It needs to be said that both these tools are going to give you ballpark results. You'll need to do some personal calibration as you use them. But used consistently, you'll be able to monitor your energy intake and expenditure and make predictions about your weight loss. This can be great for setting a schedule for losing those kilos you put on over the winter. Remember to factor in thermogenesis, the standard energy expenditure outside of your training, to your energy expenditure calculations, otherwise you'll be in big trouble very fast. This kind of attention to your diet, training and results will teach you a lot about your body and how it reacts to training. This information can be invaluable as your training progresses. Okay, that's it. We go into real depth about how to structure a diet to fit your training schedule in the first of our expert series, which you can access through the link below. Thanks again, see you next time, and remember to hit the thumbs up, subscribe, and leave a comment below.